just the glasses. That first lesson wasn't even hard. Before we get too far into the details, let's talk about where you stick your CSS. CSS is all about separating content from presentation. Take me, for example. My hotness is my presentation, or the CSS. My personality is the content, the HTML. When you put together great content and a great personality, you end up with a pretty banging website, or this hot mess. First, the best practice way to add CSS to a web page is to create a separate CSS file or an external style sheet. Let's take a look at the site directory on our desktop. Inside is an HTML file and a CSS file. If we open the HTML file in a browser, we see it's just plain text. Let's open the HTML file in a text editor. What we have to do is add the style sheet to the HTML file with this line. Link, rel, style sheet, then href equals the CSS file path within the site directory. Let's go back and refresh the page. Since we linked the CSS file, now the browser applies the external CSS and the content is styled. This method works great because one file can be applied to many pages. But if you like it quick and dirty, there are two other ways to add CSS. First is an inline style where you add the style directly to an HTML element in the page. Let's add a background color of a gray. Inline styles aren't good because it forces you to edit each page individually. Second is an internal style. You stick this right into the page inside the head element. You add the style tag and then some CSS. Let's make the paragraphs bold by adding a P, then font, wave, bold. This method is slightly better, but it's still in the HTML file, so not that great. External style sheets are good because they can be applied to many HTML files and it helps make page load faster because once the browser loads the file, it doesn't have to download it again. This is called browser caching. Next, we'll talk about properties, specifically color and size option. And it might be a little harder in here, if you know what I mean.